Okay, question seven is the from the uh, 2016 AP Chemistry FRQs. Uh, has to deal with a little titration. So the first thing here, this image, I did a small one just to remind us what this looks like. We have to go back and actually read these images ourselves, you know, uh, in order to get the volume. So a student is given a 25 milliliter sample of a solution of an unknown monoprotic acid and is asked to determine the concentration of the acid by titration. The student uses a standardized solution of 0 0.110 molar NaOH in a burette, a flask, an appropriate indicator, and other laboratory equipment necessary for the titration. Okay, the images below show the burette before the titration and at the end point below right. What should the student record as the volume of NaOH delivered? So let's stop here and look. Oops. Okay, first off, we have to see this guy here. Here's 3738. It's between 37 and 38, and it looks like 37.1.2.3, so 37.3, and there's a line for 0.3, so we need to go one more decimal, and it looks pretty much like it's right on that uh, 0.3 line. So that's our value, 37.30. And for the uh, initial amount, we would say that looks like 5, between 5 and 6, so 5.5, 5.6, 5.6 something, um, and again, I would say it looks not like about halfway, so I'm going to say 5.65 milliliters. So that's the first thing we had to do. So now what is the actual volume then? This can be final minus initial, so 37.30 milliliters minus 5.65 milliliters. So we're going to go all the way to the... Uh, a hundredths place on here, and so that's a five, and that is a two, 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 six, and there, that, there. Okay, that's a six, and looks like 31. So 31.65 milliliters, that's our answer. And this is the one where they really check the significant figures because you know, you're making measurements. So the first answer 31.65 milliliters, and that is our base that was used in the titration. Okay, part B, based on the given information to your uh, and your answer to part A, determine the value of the concentration of the acid that should be recorded. Okay, well we can do this stoichiometry or, you know, because it said it's a monoprotic acid and NaOH has one OH, then our moles of acid equal the moles of base. Okay, moles of base. So therefore we can use what really officially is the dilution formula, but it works here. So the volume of the acid times the molarity of the acid is equal to the volume of the base times the molarity of the base. Okay, and then we just kind of substitute things in. So volume, we know that our acid, we had 25 milliliters of that to start with. And we're looking for the molarity. I just did that wrong. That's an acid. Okay, um, X, and we want the volume of the base. We just said it was 37.30 milliliters. And it said up here in the problem that it was a 0 .110, 0 0.110 molar solution of the base, NaOH. So we solve for X, and X out comes out to be 0 0.139 molar. Three significant figures. Okay, so that's part A and that's part B. Um, Point-wise, okay, then we got one point here for reading these correctly and getting the right volume, okay, subtracting. And the second point here was for calculating uh, the molarity. Now, we could have done volume times molarity of the base, okay, and then said there's a one mole of base that gives you one mole of acid. So we get the moles of the acid divide by the 0 0.025 liters of the acid and come up with the same answer, 0 0.139. Okay, last part here is a kind of an error analysis. In the second trial, the um, student accidentally adds more NaOH to the flask than was needed to reach the endpoint and then recorded the final volume. Would this error increase, decrease, or have no effect on the calculated acid concentration for the second trial uh, justify? Okay, well, first off, if you're saying that the moles of the acid is equal to the moles of the base, okay, then if you accidentally have too much of your NaOH, then you think that your moles of base is too high. 
I mean, you're gonna you're you're gonna using you're using a number for your moles of base that is too high. Okay, so if that's too high, then you think that your moles of your acid is larger than what it really is. Okay, so that's going to be too high. So when you do your calculation, then your concentration is going to increase your concentration of the acid. Okay, so that's the answer to the question here. You know, you're going to increase it there. And, you know, what's your justification? Okay, because, you know, since you're using, so your volume is too large, then your calculated moles of your base is too high. So therefore, the calculated moles of your acid is going to be too high, and you're going to get uh, um, your concentration of your acid, your calculated concentration is going to increase because of that error. And again, this is two points. One point for saying that it's going to increase it, and then the other point is for a justification. Okay, in this case, dealing with you think there's too many there's you're calculating too many moles of base, so therefore there's too many moles of acid, and your concentration is too high. So that's the four points.